welcome to the tutorial for Execulink's Premium Attendant feature. This video will demonstrate how to manage your Premium Attendant through the My Execulink portal. Once you've logged in to My Execulink, select View Your Lines and select the number associated to your auto attendant. Once you've selected your Premium Attendant, you'll be on the main summary page. You can see the activation status, the current service status, so you know which menu is currently activated, as well as shortcuts to all the individual features, giving you a brief description of their function. The premium attendant is made up of three basic features, the schedule, the menus, and the announcements. First, let's start by setting up the schedules. To add additional time to the schedule for a selected period, click on that period and the associated paintbrush, and then click on the sections of the menu you wish to update. This can be done by clicking or dragging with the mouse button depressed. If a smaller interval of time is required, Select Zoom In. Now we've set the lunch schedule to be from 12 p.m. to 1.30 p.m. Monday through Friday. You'll also notice working hours end at 5 p.m., and there's special weekend hours selected as well. Also, you can select special days in your calendar to have their own announcement or a menu to play on holidays or any special occasion you'd like to have a specific menu for. If you'd like to define a new period, rename an existing period, or delete a period from your schedule, select the options from the bottom. To demonstrate, let's remove our lunch period. First, select the period you wish to change, then select Delete. Confirm, and that menu has been removed. As you can see, the lunch period was removed from the menu. Let's redefine that time as regular working hours, and now our business menu will play throughout the entire day. Let's add that lunch period back in. First, select Add New Period. Provide a name. Then select OK. Using the green paintbrush, let's highlight the period we wish to add for lunch. Choose which menu to use, and then select Apply. Now that we've selected a schedule, let's choose what actions we add to those menus. In this case, we're going to review the Business Hours menu. Once you've selected the menu you wish to work with, you'll be presented with the General page, which will give you the option to change the name, add a description, and choose the announcement. In this case, we've selected our day greeting. To assign the functions of keys, select keys. With the premium attendant, you can assign functions to keys one through nine, as well as zero, pound, and star on the keypad. To change the assignment of a key, choose the drop box beside it, the function you wish to provide, and add additional detail if required. In this case, since we've chosen to transfer to phone, we need to enter the number to transfer to. Once you've assigned all the changes, select Apply. To set a timeout feature for your menu, as well as to define the timeout period, select Timeout. In this example, we've overridden the existing general timeout behavior 
to set a timeout duration of 3 seconds. So, if the caller has not selected an option within 3 seconds, currently our auto attendant will disconnect the call. To change that feature, simply choose the drop down box and the action you'd like to occur after the timeout period. Once you've made the change, ensure to select Apply to save it. So your caller understands the function of each menu, an announcement must be recorded. To record announcements, select Announcements. In this example, several announcements have already been set. Let's add a new announcement for our lunchtime period. To add a new announcement, select Add New Announcement. First, give the announcement a name. Enter a description and then record the announcement. Your announcement can be recorded through the My Execulink portal using the features provided or through the telephone user interface. To record announcements through the telephone user interface, please see your welcome package for instructions. As a third option, you can also upload previously recorded announcements. Once you've recorded your announcement, select Add. Since we recorded a new lunch announcement for our lunch time period, let's have that announcement play with that menu. First, select Add New Menu. Provide a name for that menu and a description and select the specific announcement to play. Define the key assignments. In this case, let's just have zero Leave a voicemail, and then select Apply. Since we've set an announcement, created a menu, let's choose the point in the schedule we want this menu to be heard. First, select the period you want to change and then choose which menu to use. Then select Apply. For assistance with advanced features or any questions you might have, see the welcome package provided or call Execulink at 1-877-393-2854. Thanks for watching.